Okay, another great organizing feature of MathCAD that helps us to create really useful uh, worksheets is to the ability to use collapsible areas. I mean, as we get into complex engineering calculations, I mean, our, our calculations can go on quite long. And we don't always have to see all of the details of every step that we've taken along the way. And, and so we've got a problem uh, laid out here in the uh, on the diagram. Uh, obviously, we're headed off to do a whole bunch of calculations, but before we can get to those calculations, we have to do some preliminary calculations. So in this case, we have the cross section, uh, which is this T-beam defined up here, and we need to figure out some of its cross sectional properties before we can move on. And so here in step 1a, it says calculate the height of the centroid because that is associated with the location of the neutral axis. So that's really important when we go on to calculate stresses. But you know, as important as it is, and the fact that I need that calculation done, I don't necessarily need to be bothered by it all the time. I need to get on to the meat of the problem. Uh, and so what I've done is I've put this in a collapsible area, which is that dotted line you see running around it. Now, by pressing on this negative sign here on the left, I'm able to collapse that uh, so that you don't see it. And obviously, if there's a whole bunch of calculations below this, we would see it. Now, one of the things that I often do, because I do keep my collapsible areas collapsed most often, is I put the summary output outside of the area. So you see the whole purpose of this was to calculate the location of the centroid. So that's Y bar. And so I put Y bar uh, as an output outside of that. So you see Y bar is calculated inside of it, but I have it outside. So I don't have to uh, open it to get that information. So that's just a trick that I use to make my sheets more effective. So how do we get these collapsible areas? So let me just move this around. I'm going to uh, move my space out or my calculations outside of a collapsible area. I'll create one and then we'll put the calculations in so that we can do that in the future. So Okay, so here we are, I, I've removed that section. And what I wanna do is to set up my sheet uh, so that I can add it. So again, I'm just gonna put my cursor about where we want the collapsible area to be. And I go over to document and the furthest left button you see is area. And you can also use control shift A if you prefer. Now, I don't use it that often, so I don't, rem or I don't use it so often that I remember the shortcut. So I just go use the button and now it adds in a collapsible area. Now it offers it as a default size, but obviously we can increase the size if I hit my enter key while I'm inside it or otherwise add space using the add space button, uh, then I can create, make it bigger uh, or I can make it smaller by doing the reverse. So what I need to do is I need to give myself a, enough space because I have that information saved uh, in the clipboard. So I'm just going to go control V and I'll put that information back in. Obviously, if I was creating this for the first time, I would just be typing it in and adding the images and, and doing as I would normally do. And in this case, I've made my space a little bit larger so I can use my backspace key to refine that, get it down to the right size. And same thing up here, I can probably get rid of a space or two. Uh, and remember what I said before, I find it really useful. So if I collapse this, you're not going to see anything. And we probably want, uh, still want to know the results of what's being calculated in there. So we know that what we're calculating is Y bar. So just out here, I'm going to go Y lowercase uh, or to put in a subscript, it's control negative sign. Oh. And go Y bar and hit my equal sign. It's already been calculated. I prefer it in millimeters, so I'm gonna put an extra M in there. And now when I collapse it, I still know what Y bar is, uh, even though I don't have to see the details of the calculation. And so for a complex calculation, you can have a whole bunch of these collapsible areas so that you can see and concentrate on the area that you're most interested in. So I personally find that as a really useful tool if you've got a complicated sheet that you're working on.